Hi. <laughs> I'm Matt's mother, Judy. W- what else? What else about you? Um, should I tell my age? If you want, whatever you want. Uh, what the heck? 72, and I, I look really like I'm about 50. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what I've been told. By who? Lots of people. They go, oh, my God, <laughs> how do you do it? Uh, tell us something interesting about yourself or a story. Um, let's see. Well, when Dad and I, your dad, Doug, were first married, we decided to, he got a job in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm-hmm. And um, so here we leave. We had no furniture. We had nothing. Fresh start. On the interstate, 95, and I'm sure you've seen these uh, places where the trucks have to weigh their stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> we had a rocking chair and a TV. So we pull in, and we thought we had to weigh it. <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh at it now. Yeah. So um, the state trooper up in the window, we looked up, and he's looking at us like, What the hell are you doing here? (laughs) (laughs) Are you lost? And uh, so, of course, Dad goes, I don't think we're supposed to be here. I don't think we're supposed to weigh a rocking chair and a TV. (laughs) (laughs) Is that all you had? That's all we had. We moved in our new apartment. We had a rocking chair and a TV. (laughs) Nothing else. (laughs) Didn't have a bed. Slept on the floor. How long did it take to get a bed? Um... Well, we were dirt poor. <laughs> <laughs> so years, that's what months. They, that's what they say in West Virginia. Dirt poor. Dirt poor. Well, a lot of people say that it's a it's a thing. Um, so what happened? Did the like state trooper or somebody come by and tell you to go uh, get away from the? No, we figured we figured it out. We're, we, we're <laughs> how long did it take you? <laughs> oh, about um, twenty minutes after. <laughs> <laughs> that's twenty minutes too long. <laughs> after a real loaded down truck. Pulled up behind us. <laughs> <laughs> like blaring the horn at you? Yep. Um, does Doug have anything to add to this story? He always has something to add. Hey, Doug. Where he's never, he? never around when you want him. <laughs> <laughs> right, tell another story. Um, well, I could tell you a story when we were first married. Okay. Okay. We got married. Left town. Um, I was real young looking. I was 21, but I looked like I was 14, really. <laughs> So uh, a lot of the guys were taking their girlfriends across the state line uh, then and taking them to a motel, I guess. I don't know. I don't I was innocent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here we go. And the cop we didn't know had been following us, a state trooper. And um, so you just gotten married, just got married, actually had our marriage license with us. Thank God. Um Cause he pulled us over finally, and he wanted to know um, uh, where Dad was taking me. And he says, uh, "He says we just got married." And he goes, "We said we're trying to find a hotel. We didn't have a reservation, anything." <laughs> so he says, "Come on, follow me. I'll take you to one. I know where there's a real nice one." So he puts his siren on and the light, and we're to follow him. Here we go down the <laughs> down the interstate again, following state trooper. We had to hurry and get to our hotel room, I guess. <laughs> and walking up right now is the star of this show, Doug Cole, also known as Dad. He's walking over, sauntering over right now. Do you have anything to add to this story? He's making his way. Yeah. <laughs> he, put those ear- he can put those ears on. Go ahead and talk in the mic. What's your name? 71. Say, hey, say that again. Turn the mic on. Age 71, Doug Cole. And uh, she didn't really tell the story on the first one correctly. And it is, <laughs> I did. Uh, we was uh, employed for, uh, by the government, and I wasn't. You never been employed, dear. <laughs> anyway, we was employed by the government, and they I, told I me, was. "Please don't interrupt, so I can get this out." I work for the a uh, lab. I work not, for J.C. Penny. <laughs> can you just be quiet? <laughs> The government told me that I, they was going to pay me by the pound for me to move my belongings from West Virginia down to Norfolk, okay? That I'd have to rent a U-Haul and get the weighed empty and get it weighed with all my contents in it. So 
Ah, uh, it's obvious. Nobody's bathroom scales going to weigh <laughs> a darn U-Haul. With a with we had all, everything we owned, clothes, rocking chair, rocking chair. I think TV. I owned a basketball and football. TV, TV. But anyway, we go to Lynn down the interstate, and uh, I says, "Well, I guess they'll weigh this, and I can subtract the weight of the car and subtract the weight of the U-Haul, and I'll get the weight of the contents and subtract your weight." Well, needless <laughs> to say. <laughs> This nice man in the U-Haul place, not U-Haul, but in the weighing place, which was a, had to be a Virginia State Trooper, he says, what in the hell are you doing here, buddy? I said, well, we are just passing through, and I told him the story. He says, well, how was it just moving on? And he says, because we don't weigh stuff, moving stuff. He says, that's done on private scales. I says, can you tell me where the private scales is? He says, well, no, but he says, I guarantee you'll find it if you go on down the road. He's just trying to get me. By this time, we got about 10, 18 wheelers back behind us, <laughs> honking their horns, saying, <laughs> shaking their fists, and giving us the little birdie on their middle finger. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the long and the short of that. We finally get down to, uh, to Norfolk, Virginia, and had to deal with the uh, government <laughs> travel agent. And she says, how much did your Wait stuff weigh? Norfolk, Virginia, Jacksonville, Florida. Norfolk, Virginia. She didn't even know which state she's in. <laughs> we were headed to Jacksonville. What job did I have in Jacksonville, Judy? The job with the government. I never had no job in Jacksonville. I was in the military in Jacksonville. I didn't have any jobs in Jacksonville. <laughs> the military wasn't a job? It was. No, that was a Navy. That was a... Most was, people consider that a job. No, <laughs> I didn't because I just, hey, I just uh, goofed off. Twenty one years old and goofing off. <laughs> I consider that a drinking episode. <laughs> I try to try to drink myself straight. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, I can I, tell. Uh, yeah, I remember Jacksonville. Well, um, then get the story straight. We did time. live at Cecil Field. Yeah. Uh, we went to a nightclub on base one yep. night, and now understand, I didn't know what drinking was. <laughs> the only thing I drank was an RC Cola. <laughs> With lemon on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, baby Ruth to chase it down with. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we went to a club, and he ordered me something called a Singapore Sling. And I thought, hmm, this is tasty. This is sweet. That's like grape juice. So I had about three or four Singapore slings. And so I thought, hmm, something's wrong here. I feel like I'm floating. <laughs> so he says, sit here. I'm going to go pay the bill. And when I tell you to come, motion for you to come, you come on. Well, when he took his arm and motioned for me to come, I saw about ten arms motion for me to come. So... He had to come and get me, actually, and hold me up out, out of my chair. <laughs> she was drunk as a skunk. <laughs> and we went back from there to the uh, trailer park. Not to say we was trailer trash, but yeah, we close were. to it. We were trailer trash. <laughs> okay. Anyway, she uh, she tripped over the trash can, and we had these big metal trash cans going up the steps. Fell down the steps. And then she got up the top, tried to open the door, and realized she had to back off one step, so she fell back into the, off the side of the steps oh my God. into the trash can. Three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> trash can goes rolling down the street, waking uh, all the lights come on in the trailers. Yeah, and everybody's hollering. What's going on over there? <laughs> Quieting down. Yeah, we got to sleep. Cause keep in mind, back then in Florida, this is uh, there was only like ten feet separating each trailer. Cause it was, <laughs> this trailer park was on like a half an acre and had about thirty trailers. On. Oh wow! So we uh, <laughs> you had you had just enough room to park one car in between a trailer. And you said you had no air conditioning, so mm -hmm. we set up all night killing mosquitoes. <laughs> They would hide from us. They would hide. We would turn the light on, and they would be hiding. We'd turn the light out, <laughs> right across our head. There's one laying on her forehead. I remember smacking it. It looked like she had a bullet running right on the top of her forehead. That's, anyway. That's not so. Why Why was it a Singapore sling? Who? Why? 
Why that drink? Well, cause uh, dad and his buddies. That's what they ordered. Cause it's like dollar and a half special that night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a Singapore sling since then? Never. I do not like to drink. But it was really a good drink. It's made with all kinds of Rum juices. Rum and <laughs> you couldn't even tell it had any alcohol in it until you started to walk away. <laughs> yeah, I can vouch for that. But anyway, they were, well, I think it was happy hour or something. They was really. I keep mind this in nineteen seventy two. Okay, and uh, I was getting ready to ship out to go overseas anyway so i was free and uh, not not doing a whole lot of anything so we went on to the club and <laughs> danced the night away <laughs> well what? what and then after about two of those singapore slings <laughs> i'm not sure we was even dancing uh, you, you guys out there never never land you don't know what a strobe light is <laughs> Had four strobe lights and each had one each corner. <laughs> you couldn't even tell which corner you was in after you drank enough. So anyway, so uh, do you remember any of the names? The name of the trailer park, the name of the club, uh, any of the songs that played that night? Anything? It it's been was. a while. Well, the songs are I don't remember all the names, but you can still hear them if you go to KFC. They play. The, uh, <laughs> Do they have strobe lights at KFC, too? <laughs> no. That's watch his... watch them chicken bones, buddy. They'll eat you up. <laughs> but, uh, That's his favorite place to eat. It's it's good. Mm -hmm. But they play no, that not. kind of music, and they play the, that whole music through the Vietnam War episode type stuff. So it was in the uh, early 70s. Uh, what was the name of the trailer park? Do you remember? It was off C uh, Cecil Road. That's no, on uh, Cecil, Cecil Field. Road. Cecil Field. It was um, at Cecil Field outside the gate. Um, what was the name of that? Thompson or something. I like don't that. know. Mm. Anyway, they, uh, they didn't have on base housing then. So we had to get something, just had to get what we could get, you might say. So was it mostly Navy people in that trailer park? Yeah. Oh, well, all Navy. Met people. some nice people. <clears throat> and let me tell you about Mrs. Cole here. And that is, we was <laughs> stone broke. So she, I says, Do you cook? And she says, Yeah, I do. I said, What is your favorite meal? She says, I can cook brown beans <laughs> and, cor and cornbread. I said, those things are a little bit gassy, aren't they? Stop it, Doug. Anyway, so I went out, and everything the commissary sold in 10-pound bags. <laughs> so I bought a 10-pound bag of brown beans for about a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> and, and everybody knows, but everybody but her, that you get, when you cook. They swell. They swell. So she cooked the whole 10 pounds in one pot. <laughs> and she, they swell and swell. So when I got home from work three that night, pots. she had like three or four pots. Her beans. I said, what do I do with these? She beans? cooked all, all 10 pounds. And we had three damn loaves of cornbread. And I mean, make a long story short, we had more beans than, than they could pass the out all at, at the uh, Navy base. Com not commissary, but the. We call it a place where you eat at the base. Canteen? It's not a canteen. <laughs> <laughs> most people call it the trough because most hogs eat there. Because that's the kind of food that gets slopped on you. Anyway, we both from West Virginia. Back then, we didn't know any better. Wild and wonderful. Yeah, I finally bought her a pair of shoes, shoes and had her one tooth fixed, too. <laughs> that's, that's, a that's a little over the top. Do you do you want to defend your cooking? I'm a good cook. Now you can. <laughs> didn't I cook you some good meals? <laughs> you, After you thirty all, years, she learned how to cook. No, he would always. I'd say you like this. Yeah, it's a little bland. Everything was a little bland to Matt. It was, to me, yeah. What about to Dad? He loved my cooking. <laughs> he loved all those beans. How long did it take you to eat all those beans? He, he, gained, he gained about 150 pounds. <laughs> I did. When I went aboard ship in 1973, I weighed 210. And I normal when I graduated from high school, I only, great, I only weighed 97 pounds. So I gained about 100 pounds eating her food. <clears throat> <laughs> of course, it's all, all protein when you say beans and cornbread. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> we throw a potato in there every now and then. <laughs> How do you spell tater? T A T T E R. <laughs> That's tatter, like you're oh. dressing in tatters. How do you spell tater tot then? T A T E R. T A T E R T O T. I got that one. Uh, all tater right. Let's wrap this up. Any last words of wisdom? 
from anyone. Yeah, I got you know what? <clears throat> I'm clever throw here. Yeah. Uh, for you guys that's been married 50 years plus, I want to sing the only song I know. No. Okay, <laughs> no. okay here we go. No. Sing it, sing it. <clears throat> Clear my throat. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Cause she's all broken down. We're never going at you on here. Okay. I was going to sing Home on Rain, okay, but okay, I forgot okay. the lyrics of that one. Okay, we're closing. All right. All right, for Judy, Judy Cole, and last words of wisdom or a song <laughs> since Dad song, sang a song. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Just uh, words of wisdom. Um, <laughs> Three bags full. <laughs> Anything. Always clean your plate up. <laughs> Wash your underwear out at the end of the week. <laughs> All right. That's it for the wild, wonderful coals. We'll see you later. Bye. Sarnar.